Report of Internet, this is Chris of Phone Cats, and we're taking a look at the game called Asphalt 6 by Gameloft. It reminds me a lot of Cruising USA, but we're not going to talk about that, because that's probably some kind of copyright thing or something that you shouldn't say. But whatever, it'll remind me of Cruising USA a lot. Okay, I went with a Nissan 370Z. I don't know a lot about cars, but I know about holding the right side of the screen so you can turbo boost nearly constantly. You're supposed to only use it during straightaways, but, uh, you know, I'm an innovator. Um, there are cars on the other side of the screen, and I started out in last place, and I was kind of just hoping, like, oh god, I hope I chose a car that starts out slow, and then has a really high top speed. Remember playing in Cruising USA at, like, not Chuck E. Cheese's, I would play at, like, Mr. Gaddy's, that's what's up. And you could go through all the cars, and you would be like, alright, do I want a high top speed, or do I want, a uh, quick acceleration? Normally I would say quick acceleration, that's the way to go, because... For a curvy race, or if you're someone that crashes a lot like me, you want to be able to get back up to an average speed quick. Like, that's what normally benefited me. Um, I guess I should be telling you about how awesome this game is, but you can see it for yourself, and the soundtrack is even cool. Um, I was actually, like, super into it while playing this game. I was mad that I started out in 6, but... I don't know, maybe since it's the first level, everything was on super cheeser mode, but either way, um, I instantly became like a, a fan. I don't remember exactly how much this game cost. Okay, it was only 99 cents. God, Gameloft, you are crazy sometimes. Um, Gameloft seems to have their fingers in everything and everyone, like all at once. Some of them are, like, I've been playing this one called Order and Chaos that I'm going to review soon. It's like World of Warcraft, but if this isn't, like, made by a huge, uh, like, huge developer that did Cruise in USA or something like that, this is, this is phenomenal. Okay, uh, the right side of the screen is turbo, the left side is brake, and you actually want to use the brake sometimes to drift. Did you see that? Okay, then that sucks. I wrecked someone else, and then it did some slow-mo of them wrecking, and then, like, while well, I started to black out and, uh, like, lose touch with reality from the coolness of that, like, I ended up hitting the wall. There's me going all Tokyo sideways on it. Okay, final lap. I have only done one lap. That was all one lap. Are you serious? And I'm only on the first level? I'm already, I'm already, like, emotionally invested in this race. And it's probably that, like, poppy, electro, super tech. Okay, okay, we're cool. Oh, uh, that was really close. Oh, take it! What was that? Corvette? No. I know cars. Camaro. I don't know what that was. That was one of the cars I could choose. I hope it's not something that's, like, sleeper fast. Just like an Easter egg that's somehow, like, ungodly fast. Oh, yeah, what can I drift? Oh no! Right now I'm in first, and that's never the story, so this has to be like easy mode level one. Cruising USA was so hard. I spent so many quarters on that. Listen to that music! This game's crazy. It's crazy. I'm in first. You know how some people get excited when they get first comments? I felt better than that, and then I start kind of geeking. We cool, we cool. Okay, those power-ups kind of blind your vision, so watch out for that. And there's definitely shortcuts in this. Like, I've seen a couple obvious ones where, like, there's a whole nother path. Ah, little wall grind. Oh no, that can't be good. Okay, in most games, whenever you hit something and then you come back, you're, like, automatically in, like, seventh place because everyone passed you at once, but... So you're telling me there's a chance. No! No! All right, let's juice some boost. Oh no, he passed me at the very end. No, second place, that's fine. Uh, here's a whole bunch of points, and they're like, Hey, great job, here's all stuff. 
Uh, I know you can get upgrades and spend money and you get new cars. And I heard you can go to the garage and check out your cars, customize it, and upgrade it. I think I said that in a different order though. I couldn't remember everything that she said, that was way too long. With that cut music, that's the end of this episode of Phone Cats. Uh, this game has been around the block, but, uh, you know, it was drifting around the block, so get it. That was cool, right? Talking about drifting in a game? <laughs> Phone Cats. Rookies when they guess with for that metal train grab rainy